risen Christ, for whom no door is locked, no entrance barred, open the doors of our hearts that we may seek the good of others and walk the joyful road of sacrifice and peace to praise God the Father. Amen. And we're going to carry on opening our hearts to God with an amazing first song as we open the eyes of our heart, Lord, being led by our wonderful worship band.
be more than this Oh breath of God come breathe within There must be more than this Spirit of God we wait for you fresh upon us in this place, that you would stir a passion in our hearts, that we would encounter you in a new way this day, this morning, 
just like those disciples in the upper room, that they encountered you in a new way when you came. Help us, Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Uh, Oki is going to come and give our one and only reading. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Jesus appears to his disciples. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jew, Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now, Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your fingers here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. Thanks be to God. These words are written so that you might believe. These words are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. That is why um, John has written this gospel, that we might believe. So, uh, one of the ways um, that we begin to do that is to really wrestle with questions. Um, Faith and doubt have a big part in our lives as Christians. And this morning we've got the opportunity to explore that uh, in five different ways. Uh, So, I'm going to invite Mary and Dave and Andy and Rachel and Simon, thank you. Uh, Could you come forward so that uh, people know who you are? And we are going to break out now for 20 minutes into different spaces around the church and in the hall Uh, to explore what we've just heard in that Bible reading in different ways. So um, anyone who wants to uh, continue to sing in worship and to pray, uh, Dave is going to move towards the church hall, so out of the doors and to the side. Uh, 
Andy is going, Andy, do you want to wave your hand? Um, Andy is going to be in the foyer uh, looking at how we apply these things to our everyday lives. Simon is going to be in the side chapel uh, with the opportunity to really ask questions that arise for you from the reading. Mary is going to be in the side um, room there, the outer vestry. Uh, it's a quieter place to reflect uh, with God. And then here in the main space, Rachel, do you want to give us a wave? Uh, it's going to uh, be helping us wonder about this and explore the reading in a more interactive way. So just give you one moment to think about uh, where you might want to go and explore this. You're also welcome to stay seated where you are and use this time to pray and reflect um, in your own way. Oh, and sorry, people online, uh, you're going to be um, reflecting with Sheila on the Bible passage together. Uh, so let's hold a moment of quiet. Lord, would you help us just to know where you want us to go and explore these questions we have about you this morning? Amen. So, Dave, do you want to head off? Anyone who wants to go with Dave, please go. Andy, thank you. Simon, Mary, and Rachel. Um, please move around, and we will gather back here at 11.25 on that clock. Uh, time to get up and move around. Move. Oh, yes, and um, if you're not sure what I've just said, the details are up on the screen of the different spaces to go to.
as we start to come back together, just have a think. Is there anything that you sense that God has been speaking to you about that you would like to share? Anything from your group? Maybe someone's asked, asked you from your group to actually share for the group, and that's great. If there's anything that you think God might be saying for us as a church, or something specific for somebody else, we would love to hear from you as we all gather back together now. What has God been saying to you? And as we gather together, we're going to say the Lord's Prayer. Please say it in your own language. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your power. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. And as we settle down with our thoughts, I'd like to encourage if there's anyone who does feel that there is something they'd like to share, to come and share it. I have a microphone here. Oh, we have someone, I think. Are you going to come and say something, Eleanor? Do you want th- yeah, so you were with uh, Rachel. Okay. So we were, um, so we were guessing nice about, question, like, um, believe it or not. So when Thomas, if Thomas believed it was um, Jesus, only if he put his finger um, through the holes where the nails were. So um, I think we've got... Yeah. Oh, I think they have a piece of realia. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Something happened. A very, oh. So, um, we had this wrapped up and we had to guess where it was. So, we guessed it was a ball. Um, so, and Rachel showed us what it was. So, we found out it was a ball. But, you, if you guys try, what do you think this is? Oh. We had to try and guess what this was, but we didn't see, we haven't seen it, so, yeah. So you saw something, you knew what it was. was you knew it was that. That was a bit that. like Thomas, yeah. like, I'll only believe you mm-hmm. if I can actually stick my fingers in, your, in the holes yeah. in your hands. But we are like the tennis racket. Yeah. Or not. It's the tennis racket. In that we believe that's a tennis racket but we haven't had the opportunity to actually stick our fingers mm-hmm. in Jesus's yeah. holes in his hands, yeah. but yeah. we believe. And yeah. what does Jesus say about that, those um, people? He, he says that if you believe without seeing him, then you're like blessed. Yes, you are blessed. You are yeah. really blessed. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, we have the Holy Spirit as well who is here to help us in those situations. Is there anyone else? Yes, Henrietta. Thank you. I was in the group chatting in the foyer, and I think I realized just the benefit of being with people in church, turning up. Thomas hadn't been with the others, so he hadn't kind of experienced things together with them. He was sort of by himself and so doubtful, and someone... Um, Philip brought that out. It's important to turn up. And because we were chatting, 
you know, some Sue could ask, um, oh, I'd like to, how do I find out about the away day? And someone said, oh, I might like to be baptized, but maybe if we hadn't had that chat, we wouldn't have had those conversations. So just, yeah, being together is important. Thank you. So the encouragement that we have of being together, of spending time together as community, as family, great. So anyone, anyone else have anything? They'd like, yes, Simon? So we were looking at the Bible in here, and we landed on that verse that says, if you forgive anyone's sins, they'll be forgiven. Um, and we, we were wrestling with that, uh, and someone said that... Um, as we are living in that Easter event, if, as we're living in the resurrection of Jesus and his forgiveness of us, it then encourages us to spread that forgiveness outwards to others. So I think there's a challenge in Easter, not just to be forgiven, but also are there people that we need to forgive as well? So maybe that's a challenge for all of us. Thank you, Simon. So the strength that we can gain in coming together as community, encouraging us in our own walk in faith, that we can then take that strength out, the, 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 the being blessed by God, knowing that we are forgiven by him, then we are encouraged to go out and do the same to those who we meet, many of whom who do not know that amazing blessing of forgiveness and to encourage others to begin to know about Jesus for themselves. Anything, anything else? Yes, Stephen, would you like to come up? Um, we, we didn't get a chance to get regrouped, but um, we were doing hands. And so we went along some of those pictures on the wall there so you can enjoy those later. But the thing about, um, we were thinking about Jesus' hands and asking Thomas, to touch the uh, pierce, piercing in his hand. This last week, I've been doing DIY, and I don't know, you know DIY it tends to dry out your skin because you've got paint, paint clean, you know, you've got white spirit, and you end up with these quite sore, chapped hands. And then I also, somebody had a splinter during the week, quite painful, and then also I got a split nail. And you know, when you get a split nail, you kind of catch it on clothes, and it, it pulls, and you're like, I can't do anything until I've dealt with that. So, and also, I've got a trigger finger, which is also causing me pain. And um, I think just thinking about pain in our hands, if any of you have pain in your hands, you probably, it's quite distracting and, until you can do something about it. And I'm just thinking about Jesus, you know, that piercing in his hand. It, it would have been a, you know, a, a piercing through your actual hand or your wrist. You can imagine um, how painful or costly that was. And I think that, that's what struck me, that as we went along looking at the pierced hands of Jesus, you know, we, hands are so important. And um, if you've got pain in your hands, you're distracted and you're occupied. And just thinking that that was, Jesus had his piercings in his hands. Thank you, Stephen. Has anyone got anything else? Yes, Jackie. Wow. God is good. So many things. Yes, I was also with the group looking at the pictures. So I'd really recommend you go and have a look if you haven't yet. And I was inspired by the quote over there from Mother Teresa saying that Christ, that Christ no longer has any hands on earth but ours. And it reminded me of a final line from a poem. So I thought if I can just read this final line from a poem. I just need to put my glasses on. It's a poem called The Summer Day by Mary Oliver. The final line says, Tell me, what is your plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Remembering that Christ no longer has any hands on earth but ours. Thank you, Jackie. Well, what a wonderful way to, to end. It's amazing. So, so let's spend a bit of time now in, of quiet and if you would like some prayer if anything that has been said to you personally in your group or anything that someone has said uh, just now we are so blessed to know Jesus to know 
the fact that he had all that pain, as Stephen was saying, and yet still carried on because he loves us so much, that he forgives us, and we are called to go and forgive and to share that message to others. If there's anything that you feel God, you would like some prayer for, we've got the prayer ministry team at the, at the back, please use that or someone you trust next to you, please just spend a little bit of time. The band are going to just play quietly. Do not feel you need to sing along. Just enjoy that as you listen to God, just for a couple of minutes. how blessed we are to know you that we will be forever thankful for the gift that you have given us of knowing you of being forgiven by you I just uh, pray that that God has spoken to each of your hearts this morning and that that jewel that pearl that he has given you today that you will hold on to that throughout your week and remember that God doesn't stop talking when you leave this, this building. Keep listening to him. What is he saying to you? How can you be his hands, as Jackie has had pointed out this week? We're going to sing our final song together. So if you would like to stand, uh, that would be wonderful. Oh, 
spoken to us in many different ways this morning. Um, if you would like anyone to pray with you, if you haven't um, had an opportunity to pray with someone, please pray with someone next to you or um, in the prayer area of me with Joe, anyone else that you trust this morning. As we go into the week, sent out by Jesus as living connections, offering this living hope. I'm going to pray a blessing over you. You might want to put your hands out um, as a sign of wanting to receive God's blessing. May Christ our Lord make you faithful and strong to do his will, that through your lives you may bring him glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and those you love today and always. Amen. Amen. And remembering we are those hands that Jesus has left for us to go out into the world. And as living connections with Jesus, we go into the world to give God's hope, light and love to gather others for God's glory and to grow more like Jesus. 
Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a good week ahead.